The Good Good Golf Company, founded by just a group of friends, has now grown to be one of the industry's most powerful voices in the golf entertainment sector, amassing a good number of supporters all over the world. However, fans have not been happy with the recent turnout of things in the company as they have now lost two important personalities in a very short while. First it was Macaw, and now Grant Horvat. To Good Good, this comes as somewhat of a surprise. Following the departure of their star Mika, they are still attempting to heal and now Grant is departing as well. To others, this may seem to be total despair. Anyways, there are two sides to every story, Grant Horvat said as he explains why he left Good Good. So what did Grant say about his departure? Well, let's find out. Please watch this video till the end. What exactly is Good Good Golf? Good Good Golf was founded by a group of friends who wanted to produce engaging and enjoyable golf material. Their supporters refer to them as simply Good Good in their fandom. Shortly after that, Garrett, Matt, Steven, Mika, Tom, and later Grant joined their group of friends to form the Good Good YouTube channel. They quickly began to establish themselves in the golfing entertainment and education sectors by posting challenging videos, tutorials, and other content to this channel, which has since expanded to over a million subscribers. Grant Horvat is leaving Good Good. Grant Horvat is departing Good Good to do his own thing, just months after Mika Morris quit the golf channel. Grant Horvat's resignation from the company has been the subject of rumors and murmurs, but both Good Good and Grant Horvat have finally openly addressed the issue. Grant Horvat revealed some details on why he's leaving Good Good in a video entitled, There's Two Sides to Every Story, which he posted on his personal YouTube channel. In the video, the 24-year-old explains the decision to leave the brand was the hardest decision he's ever had to make in his life. He said that after the business gave him the kitchen sink in an effort to persuade him to remain, he found it tough to make this choice. I won't be able to cover everything today since I'm not authorized to, he added. I'll be putting a lot of effort into my personal channel since there is light at the end of this tunnel. According to both sides, Grant allegedly received the kitchen sink with the possibility of receiving millions. It's clear that it's what isn't said that matters most when someone declines an opportunity that would have been so financially rewarding and releases a video with the tagline, there's two sides to every story. In hostage negotiation style recordings, Mika and Grant clearly attempted to put things right, but they weren't able to give us everything since they were not permitted. This raises the question of what specifically they were prohibited from sharing. Who is preventing them from sharing it and why? Do attorneys forbid them from speaking? Is it against the terms of the contract for them to withhold their reasons for leaving? All that's left for us to do right now is speculate. Over the weekend, the Good Good Camp released a video that gave the impression that Grant and Mika's departures were their fault. Again, however, there was nothing of any real substance said that would have enabled viewers to form an informed opinion of their own. So once again, the overarching theme is that everyone is talking, but nobody is contributing anything worthwhile. However, it seems that this separation is not as amiable as most fans would want it to be, leaving us to question what will happen to the group moving forward. More on the reason why Grant said no to the good good. Even though the business kept expanding over time and was even named one of the 100 most influential people in golf 2022 on the Today's Golfers list, the surprising news that two members had departed the business has left many good good supporters concerned about the brand's future. Grant Horvat officially departed the business on December 3, 2022, according to a video titled Goodbye Grant and Mika that was uploaded to the main Good Good YouTube channel. The crew acknowledged in this video that the news and subsequent departure occurred extremely quickly and they all seemed to be grieving the loss. The Good Good team did suggest that Grant will be concentrating on his own brand going ahead, despite the fact that they were unable to provide much information in these videos since they're still working through the legal aspects of the separation. Grant has now also released a video on his own YouTube channel, in which he explains his reasons for leaving the team in more detail. Despite the lack of details making fans suspicious about how amicable Grant split from Good Good was, Grant has now also released a video on his own YouTube channel. This includes the fact that, rather than devoting all of his time and effort to Good Good, he will now concentrate on his personal life with his parents and new wife as well as his own initiatives. Why is Grant's departure from Good Good causing such a stir? Fans thought that there was more to the tale than what they were being told since the revelation that Mika had also departed Good Good came so soon after the news that Grant was departing and the announcement video left a lot unsaid. However, after Grant's comments, many people can see that there is no animosity between Grant and the other members of the team, and that he did not just utilize the business to boost his personal reputation before abandoning it. 
Horvat's resignation was referred to by the surviving members as abrupt and a big shock. One member of the group said, It's tough to see them go. None of us wanted this to happen. They were like brothers. Grant allegedly quit because he wanted to do his own thing and just concentrate on his own channel, according to the squad. The group reaffirmed Mika Morris's resignation and explanatory video, saying he did so to concentrate on his own brand. Florida is where Garrett Clark, the de facto creator of Good Good, and Grant Horvat first met. Horvat made an appearance in a few GM golf videos after the two clicked, and he soon joined the crew and won over the audience. Many Good Good subscribers considered Grant to be one of their favorites, and his supporters have endorsed his choice. The golfing community is getting more worried about Good Good's future, however. One fan wrote, What a guy you are, Grant, not letting money step in the way of being truly happy. You are going to continue to do amazing things. God bless you and your family. Another fan commented, You are wise beyond your years, Grant. Family is invaluable, and you have chosen to cherish the time you have left with your family. I'm happy that you are in a position where you can continue to do what you love while spending quality time with your dad. Clearly disappointed to see him go, another fan wrote, Really hope you and Garrett continue to collaborate. You guys may be going separate directions, but that doesn't mean you can't leverage each other's platforms and continue to work together. Is Grant's goal of concentrating on his own YouTube channel realistic? Grant said in his video that he intends to post more material to his own channel, but many of his followers are worried that he won't achieve the same level of success that he had while benefiting from the budget, guidance, and support of Good Good. Horvat joined Mizuno Golf in March of 2022 and established the Grant Horvat Golf YouTube channel which now has over 280,000 followers and has grown by more than 2% since the news of his departure from Good Good was made public. In August 2022, Grant proposed to his girlfriend Sadie in Santorini, Greece. Horvat said he would be returning to Florida, where he would be able to spend more time with his older father. The Good Good gang has its headquarters in Dallas, Texas, and has done so since the group's founding members relocated there in 2020 to start the business. The golf influencer added he was disappointed with the way the narrative had been painted, but also expressed gratitude for his time at Good Good. In an ambiguous moment, he also implored viewers to understand the decision was entirely his own and not influenced by outside forces. What will Good Good do next? Up until he departed, Grant was an integral member of the Good Good organization. In fact, it is also clear from the comments he made in his video that he was one of the main motivators behind the footage that was published to all of the Good Good YouTube accounts. Given how much Grant had contributed to the Good Good brand's expansion on social media and in the golfing community at large, as well as the loss of Mika, Good Good will have to work arduously to replace the gaps these two team members have left in the organization. Although many fans are hoping that Good Good would utilize these departures as a way to update and revitalize the brand and its content in the future, this is not always a negative thing. And we've come to the end of this video. Please like and comment your thoughts below in the comment box and let us know your view of Grant Horvat's choice.